Where are all the ladybugs? Ah. Come on. Wake up. No hibernating. It's spring, supposedly. Good job. My tea went cold. Good Thursday, everyone. How are you? Well, after a bit of a hiatus, I'm here back in the studio. We were on our 20-year wedding anniversary trip to Young Island, which is an island just off of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump north of Venezuela in the Southeast Caribbean. I'm making a separate video about that, actually. and uh, But right now, I just wanted to do a catch-up vlog and uh, see how everybody's doing. As for me, I'm a... Yes? Really? You want to go on your perch? There you go. Much better. <laughs> so we came from 80 degrees and very beautiful. To Colorado snow. It's a bit of a shock. So I've spent uh, the last you know week and a half catching up, trying to get things uh, situated after a major trip and uh, keeping this little guy occupied because he was at bird camp. Uh, it's his boarding uh, place that we keep him at and he was not happy that we dropped him off. Okay, this is my fifth attempt trying to do this with Skeeter. He's very um, upset that I'm not paying attention to him. But that's just how it is, Skeeter. Sometimes I have to talk to people. Where were we? I don't know. I'm not using a script, by the way. Everything I'm doing is totally off the cuff, including uh, the plein air video I just did, whether or not you should paint on vacation. After looking at the results on that, I'm starting to think that maybe I should write a script so I don't have all the ums and uhs and just weird rambles that I go through. <laughs> So I'm trying to catch up after, you know, he makes this so hard. Do you have opinions? Is that so? Tell us more. What do you think about working in the studio? You have thoughts about that? So people tell me all the time they want a parrot and I say, that's great. But just remember, it's like having a perpetual toddler. A very noisy toddler. got a packed week coming up. I'm going to try painting outside again after ages of not doing so. That's not entirely true. I did paint on our little trip, which you can see in this video here. But it's been a while uh, since I've painted here locally. And reason being is the weather has been so crummy and cold and I used to be out painting at five below, no problem. But then I had several issues with my lungs. I've had now pneumonia, uh, a form of pertussis or whooping cough, and of course COVID um, over this last cycle. And so uh, my doctor's like, don't you dare go outside in the cold air and paint for hours like you used to do. So I'm trying to be true to that and uh, only go out when it's warm, but it's just making me crazy to not be able to go out and paint. I think even though the weather might be a little chilly tomorrow, I'm gonna bundle up really well and see how it goes. Well, it's Friday and it's supposed to be pretty windy today, but I've got a microphone on the way. So hopefully next time I try to do this, it won't be all So let's go and do some painting. And with our on again, off again, cold, hot, cold, hot weather. There's a lot of frozen mud that's unfreezing. 
Gonna be fun to get the Subaru out of that. And we are situated here right along the Poudre River. Not the Powder River, not the Poudre River, but the Poudre, which is short for Cache la Poudre. Well, it's really pretty, but nobody showed up yet. It's really weird. keeps blowing really hard and hard gusts on and off so I've not been able to feel much while I'm doing this but you're getting the idea for what I'm doing here. Got the water endlessly. It is freezing. I'm gonna put these on. I have been painting for almost an hour and I think I'm gonna call it good. Finish up a little bit more in the studio because I can't feel my fingers anymore. And now it's Tuesday and I'm going to be uh, framing this up as you see, but in the meantime it has snowed again. <sighs> I can deal with it. So what's been going on besides crazy weather swings? Well, I've been uh, getting into the spirit of spring cleaning, even though there hasn't been much of a spring yet. And uh, I've been going through all of my old labels that were kind of peeling and coming off after many years and uh, reattaching them with tape. I am a huge proponent of labeling everything because just like a kindergarten classroom, everything, once it has a label, you put it in the right place. It's easier to recall for someone like myself whose brain's going 20 different directions. Now I just have to tackle the rest of the studio. And I was able to skip physical therapy this week and instead I went to a surprise birthday party uh, supposedly he didn't know it was quite the spread and uh, a really good time was had by all and in other news look what came in the mail my microphone I'm so excited so why am I so excited well let me show you this is how it sounds without the microphone and This is how it sounds with the microphone. Much improved, yeah? And the only problem with this awesome little microphone is it's not entirely compatible with my iPhone. So I had to plug it into my old phone. So hence the weird degradation all of a sudden. Uh, and I'm going to get a dongle so it will work with the new phone. I'm just happy that I've got this gadget now because it will make things a lot better for voiceovers and so on. And in gardening news, in between the snowfalls we've had, uh, I took an opportunity to use the soft ground to yank out a whole bunch of uh, dead sunflowers and other things uh, so the new growth can come up after uh, the snows melt. But I did it in several uh, time chunks so I wouldn't hurt my shoulder, and so far, so good. Well, that just about sums it up for this week's vlog. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, look out for next week. We will probably have daffodils.